In today's session, we'll be learning about transmission media and under that we'll learn wire transmission media, then twisted pair cable, coaxial cable and about optical fiber cable. Have you people ever thought how you get your email or any other information from any corner of the world that to within a blink of an eye? Now this has been made possible by a network of cables which are laid under the ground and below the ocean or air. Transmission media which is also known as communication channel is a physical path that carries the information from sender to receiver. The data or information is normally transmitted in the form of electrical or electromagnetic signals through copper wires, optical fibers, air, water and vacuum. We basically have two types of transmission media which is known as wired and wireless transmission media. They can also be called as wired, guided or bound transmission media and wireless or unguided or unbound transmission media. Under wired transmission media, we have twisted pair cable, coaxial cable and fiber optic cable. Under wireless transmission media, we'll be learning with radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, Bluetooth, communication satellite and Wi-Fi. Now let's learn about twisted pair cable. It actually comprises of two separate insulated copper wires which are twisted together to form a single media and it is widely used in telephone lines. The twist is like a helical or a DNA shape. Up to 25 pairs of cables can be put in a single sheath. All transmission medias are usually prone to noise, interference and crosstalks. So the twist between the wires reduces crosstalk and noise. Also, it is cheap, lightweight and easy to install. Talking about the disadvantages, in twisted pair cable, the signals cannot travel long distances. That is usually not more than 100 meters. But that can be made possible by making use of repeaters. Now repeaters are small devices which helps to replicate the same signal with the same strength with which it started earlier. Since the copper wires are very thin, they can break easily and it cannot be used for broadband connections. That is high speed internet access cannot be done making use of twisted pair cable. Basically, twisted pair cable comes in two types, that is UTP and STP. UTP stands for unshielded twisted pair and STP stands for shielded twisted pair. In unshielded twisted pair, the wires are simply twisted together, but whereas in shielded twisted pair, it is twisted as well as enclosed in a foil or a mesh shield. The noise and crosstalk generation is comparatively less in shielded twisted pair cable. Cost wise also, UTP is cheaper than STP. Shielded twisted pair is comparatively expensive than unshielded twisted pair and also it provides higher data rates than UTP. But the most commonly used is unshielded twisted pair because cost wise they are cheaper. Coaxial cable also falls under the category of wire transmission media. They are again copper wires but they have a better shielding than the twisted pair cable which we just discussed. They can actually transmit signals that travel for longer distances at higher speeds. They are generally used for cable TV connections, local area networks and also for telephone lines. Now let's see how it is made. It consists of four primary components that is a copper wire at the center, 
a dielectric or plastic insulator, a conducting mesh shield, and a outer jacket. At the center, it has a thick copper wire. Why? Because thin copper wires can break easily. This copper wire is covered by an insulator or dielectric, which is a poor conductor of electric current. And this dielectric prevents the signals from escaping into the atmosphere. Over this is a mesh shield which is made up of a conducting material that's usually a braided copper or aluminium sheath. And the last layer called as the outer jacket is made of teflon or plastic coating and is used to protect the inner layers from physical damage such as fire and water. The advantages of using coaxial cable are they provide excellent noise immunity as they have multiple layers of shielding and the signals can travel longer distances at a higher speed. For example, up to 1 to 2 gigabytes per second for a 1 kilometer cable and also it is easy to install and maintain. The disadvantages of using coaxial cable are it is expensive when compared to twisted pair cable but it's cheaper than optical fiber which we'll be studying now. It is bulky due to the many layers of insulation and also in case of any damage the entire network goes down as a single cable is used for transmission. The next type of wired transmission media is optical fiber cable. Optical fiber is the newest form of transmission media. Instead of transferring data over copper wires, these cables contain optical fibers which is made up of high quality glass or plastic that transmit data via light rather than pulses of electricity. It consists of a glass core surrounded by several layers of protective material like glass cladding, plastic buffer and outer jacket. You can see only a small portion of the cable is used for holding the optical fiber. The remaining area of the cable is a mechanical structure for protection and strength. It carries more information than copper wires and the data travels at a higher speed because the speed of light is always greater than the speed of electrons in a copper wire. Talking about the disadvantages, it is expensive to install because it has to be installed by specialists as they are not as robust as copper wires. And also it is more difficult and expensive to splice. Splice means joining two fiber optic cables together. It's also used to restore fiber optic cables when buried cables are accidentally damaged. In the next video, we'll be studying about wireless transmission media.